Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. M. S. S. Mukherjee. Today, I am going to describe a new molecule called Evinacunab. This is a molecule for treating familial hypercholesterolemia, which is of homozygous type. You might already be wondering, why do we need one more molecule for treating hypercholesterolemia when we have so many? This is because this molecule is special. It works even if you have statin, HDMI, PCSK9 inhibitors, plasmapheresis, mepomersin, all together. Even then, if your patient's LDL is not less than 100, then this molecule comes into play. What is Evinacumab? Evinacumab is an angiopoietin-like protein 3 monoclonal antibody. This angiopoietin-like protein 3 is an inhibitor of lipoprotein lipase and endothelial lipase. And Evinacumab is discovered by a company called Regenron. And then a phase 3 clinical trial of Evinacumab are published in NEJM in August 2020. This trial is called Ellipse Homozygous Familial Hypercholesterolemia Trial. For this trial, patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia were taken. 65 patients participated in this study, out of which 43 were placed on Evinacumab and 22% were in placebo arm. 98% of these patients were already on statin. 81 patients were on PCSK9 inhibitors like Proliant or Repata. 75% were on Egitimibe and 33% were undergoing LDL apheresis. 26% of these were already on Lomitapide. The Evinacumab dose for these patients was given as 15 mg per kg once every 4 weeks. This is given as an IV injection. And what did they find in the results? There is a relative LDL reduction of 47.1%. And that is very good. You will have to consider that these patients were already on so many medications and even on LDL apheresis. And still, this molecule Evinacumab has brought down the LDL by 47.1%. The absolute LDL level decrease was around 132 milligrams per cent. That is a huge decrease. And then 47% of participants on Evinacumab achieved an LDL target of less than 100 milligrams per cent. So the molecule has worked well as far as the LDL reduction is concerned. Overall, the adverse effects were similar in the two groups. The influenza-like illness and rhinorrhea are the more common side effects with Evinocumab when compared with placebo. There were no significant gastrointestinal effects. So, in conclusion, Evinocumab worked wonderfully in reducing LDL cholesterol in patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. However, it remains to be seen whether this will lead to a reduction in the hard endpoints. We need to focus whether clinical endpoints could be reduced by Evinacumab. Until then, we need to wait and watch and then we need to give this drug only to those patients in whom the LDL levels remain very high even after giving PCSK9 inhibitors and even when they are considering LDL apexes. Thank you very much.